morning everyone my name is dr duyu meena madam and i am finalist of mrs india 2017 mrs india is initiated by mrs deepali farnes she is also mrs asia international and uh, she has given us this largest platform for married women mrs india they don't look for model they look for role models and they make role models so this platform has given me this voice so that you see today i'm standing in front of you speaking with you once upon a time i was like you all i used to dream about becoming a queen a princess you know like who doesn't want to become a queen i think all of us we want to become a queen and mrs india is such a platform which has given us this opportunity even after becoming mother of three children i am mother of three beautiful kids and yes and after getting married they have given this platform to us i also was like you all i was of your age today i am a mother i am a wife but once upon a time i was like you when my parents gave birth to me i was a toddler and today i am a adult in between a period a period comes called adolescence so today i'll be talking about adolescence how to cope with that so adolescence period is something when your body starts to develop into a womanhood and men into a manhood and you should know what goes inside that god is helping you to become a man and woman from a boy and a girl uh, i think if pa any parents are hearing each and every parent should be very very caring during this adolescent period and i would like to request the head of the institutions also because this is the period when you when you need you know like you will have have your own self conflict why my body is like that so each and every parent as well as all the head of the institution and everyone elders they should know that they what phase they are going through in their life at this period of time you should never keep aloof if you will be silent you won't know what's happening if you feel very bad sometimes your moods will swing why my body is like that why i am suffering like that why this and that then you should speak to your teacher you should speak to your elders you should speak to your parents and at least with your friends you should share with each other so that you know what is happening with you is normal and it's happening with everyone and then like second thing today i would like to tell you is there is two types of touch one is good touch and one is bad touch when your father when your brother they give, they kiss you or they hug you that is very very beautiful and very very normal isn't it each one of us we are being kissed by our parents we are cuddled by our parents but then when a wrong touch happens with you in school in bus in market at home itself also not by your parents not by your family members if other people if they touch you in wrong sense say for example especially it doesn't happen only with girls it happens with boys also so you should know when somebody you know advances in a wrong with wrong intention you should never keep quiet you should know who is touching me in wrong way okay you should not keep quiet if someone touches you and you don't like that if the touch is even from the distant relatives if you don't like that you feel that how he is touching me or how he is cuddling me it's not good you know like our sixth sense you know it always tells that who is touching me in right sense or who is touching me in wrong sense okay so you should never keep silent you should share it with your parents with your friends with your elders and with your teachers because these are the basic basic small small things which will help you to protect yourself god will help you help the one who helps themselves i think all of you know about that exactly like that when you know how to take care of yourself when you know how to protect yourself then there is no force in the world which can attack you so to all the boys and girls as you are growing and this is the most tender age of every life so you take care god bless you all and uh, just keep sharing with your friends with your family 
with your teachers and uh, with lots of uh, good wishes i will i would like to end my speech here thank you